back of Rock Throw Alley. We're going to go up over a ridge that overlooks a lumber cut. Uh, 63 degrees, beautiful morning, and Larry's with me today. Hey y'all. <laughs> so we never checked this spot out. We tried last Sunday, but my other team member hurt his knee. So now we're back this Sunday, and we're going to go in. And I'll show you what we went in and what I found on our way out. <clears throat> if you can't see it. Yep, we're coming up to it. See it laying on the ground right there? Mylar balloon. So, once again, the balloon strikes. A second here and just see what we're walking through how thick it is anything could hide in here <clears> that <throat> doesn't want to be found and that's a here you just picture yourself you and your family members have lived in the forest your whole lives, grandfathers, great grandfathers, great great grandfathers. And your main objective was to live and never be found. It could be very easily done. Very easily done. <clears throat> So you picture a, a Sasquatch and his family living in the woods and their main goal was to stay hidden. They would stay hidden. They are the masters of their domain. They are the number one woodsman. That's why I believe if most people that see them sightings by accident because they're either slipped up, which everybody does, or run out in front of a car or that kind of stuff. And I believe the others that have sightings on a regular basis, the researchers that have the sightings, are meant to see them are chosen to see them, to share their world. And I believe that they can sense that. So, I just wanted to turn on and make that little comment here while we trudge through. We're making our way around the swamp right now in the back of the woods. So that's it. That's just a little thought I had run through my head. I will be back if we come across anything. We'll be back. We just made it to the top. And look at there's a path on the top of this mountain. I 
all cleared away. It's all like clean right in here. <coughs> like no sticks or nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah. How we made it. Can't really see it too well, there's no overlook, but I'll stop and show you where we went. Or you can see it in the last clip from last Sunday. I'll put We're on the back side in area three, Rock Throw Alley. We're headed up that way. You can see as they did some cutting here. Put it on. There's no way we would have made it coming up this the other way. Coming up from we tried to come across. Yeah. And up. No way. All right, we're gonna get something to drink here, and we're gonna check this area out a little bit in here, and that's our plan. We'll be back. This is pretty cool. We're up at the top of this mountain here, and we'll there's a wall built right here. This has got to be old, old wall. Indians. Native Americans, for sure. Pretty cool hangout spot though, the one they were doing the logging, and that's why I'm up here. I thought for sure that we'd see uh, structures or something up here, but I don't find anything. Yeah. There's another print right there. Okay, we're right here. And uh, Larry just found this. There's a toe here. Toe here. You can see the big toe perfect. And you can see where it, it comes up. You don't see the back of the heel. But there's definitely a print right there. I don't know if that's yeah, another print there or not. But. It would be a left and it would be a farther. Oh, well, that's the right. That would be That'd a be the left. This is the left, it'd be a right, so it'd be up here. But yeah, that's definitely a print. That ain't a bear print either. That's cool. Almost makes you look think you went up this yeah, way. Yeah, look at it, there's like a digging right there. Huh, that was a nice find there. Yeah. So we're out. Checked it out. Didn't really find too much other than that one. The little print there, the couple toes. They were definitely toe prints. So that's it for Sunday at Rock Throw Alley. And as always, get in the woods. You know it, Larry. We're at Larry's. <laughs> 81 degrees. Haven't been out lately a lot because it's been just raining and raining and raining up here. Um, rocks are going to be slick. I'm going to go across the stream here, so... I'm gonna turn off, but that's what it is. 81 degrees, 4:30, August 15th. We'll be back. I'm just going into Willary's, and on the right-hand side over there, there's like three branches. See them? One, two, three, all leaned up together. Those have never been there before. Never, ever, ever.
All right, well, we're done setting up the rock again. Put the apples in places where you need hands to take them off. We got one. Now that one is about 12 feet in the air. Got them sticking everywhere, same as always. We have one in the crook of that tree, which is about 10 feet up in the crook, the break. Stuck on all the little fragments of wood, stuck in there. Got them wedged up in here. Now we're making these apples not easy to get. They're all the way through. We're penetrating the apple all the way through now. They have to be pulled out. Apples up there. We have another mushroom here that we just noticed on the side of the trail. We have just noticed that this log, old log, that's been sitting here for a while has been rolled back. It's not in its original spot any longer. We found, you'll see in the clip that they're burying the marbles. Four, five, six inches down. Dug them all up, left stuff the way we do. There's M Beast's rock from Missouri. Everybody voted on it. Rock C's at the thing. At the at the gift rock now. So we're gonna be heading out of here. We're gonna go collect the trail cameras. And the monkey's gone. <gasps> nope, he's broken. Oh, they broke the branch off. I bet you to get that apple. Dinosaur feather. Yeah. One dinosaur. They fall over there. Oh, the quartz rock is gone. Do you have more than one? No, oh, was that one that was sitting on top, the white one? Oh, that's right here. Oh, yeah. Something climbed up on it. Poor monkey. If I was holding on to dinner, like. The feathers are gone from over here. All of them. Oh, they're up on the rock now. Did we take them out of the ground and put them on the rock? I didn't. I can't remember, but I don't think we did. I don't remember. So yeah, they took all that. Yeah. I had that one way up there. Yep. Did I leave the container over here? Yeah, so they would see it. Alright. Because you thought maybe they didn't see it over there. Damn, stuff was moved. Huh. I don't know, this could have been an animal. Those apples were all pierced. Yep. Yeah, every single one I had that way. They had to break the monkey to get to that apple. Yeah, the one all the way up in that thing's gone too. Those apples were way up. And the one's gone right out of here. I thought I put an apple <coughs> on that. Yeah, I put it on that branch. Yeah, one way, way up. Yeah, remember you asked me how I did it, and I'm like, oh, I brought yeah. it down. Yeah. 
have gone. And then the one that was wedged in here is gone. Look at this layer. There's a stick in there now. Yeah. That wasn't there before. Alright, well, something visited the gift rock again. I'm not too sure, but uh, we had apples that were way up. Way up. And they're all gone. So, I don't know. Game pieces were moved. And there's a marble over here on the, the game board now. That wasn't there. All right, we'll be back. All right, well, we set the gift rack up again. We had some happenings here. But well, this time we pierced three of them on here. We always pierce all the way through. Those are apples are always gone and that piece is never broken. Top of the rock here. A couple little more trinkets. Did the A thing over here. I put a couple little more trinkets in and I group, put them in groups of three all around it. Three, 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 three. Apple back in the structure again. Apple here, monkey back here, and then we have an apple that's about four, 10 to 12 feet up in the air. Had one pierced like that last time, and it was gone this time. So, game was knocked over. There was a marble left on top of the game, which wasn't there last time. And then the lid with the peanut butter in it. Now, I had a hard time opening it. So this time I left the, the top open see if they can get into it or if something gets into it <coughs> so that's what the gift rock looks like we're gonna head out of here and then we'll be back again quick pan through the woods here first Larry said he smelled something strange in here too, so. Almost like a, maybe a rock smell. Yeah. Like something decaying or something. Yep. So. We're going to go right towards the smell. That's what we're going to do.
4 o'clock, August 25th, 77 degrees, backside of Rock Throw Alley. Bring Maria with me for the first time. Say hi, Maria. Hi. First time that I've been in the woods looking for Sasquatch with a female present. And looky here, right across the trail already. Good. What'd you do? You fell. Okay, go. You go, you leave. No, this is going to snap back on you. Well, I can get by it. No, it's pretty... You alright? What'd you fall on? I stepped off a rock that was under the bushes. <sighs> All right, so we're on our way in. Nothing really happens to the backside. Good. So once we get in there, we'll turn back on. If anything else happens on the way up, I'll come back too. We'll be back. I got the feeling right now, but I'm not going to tell Maria. I'm just going to turn the camera on. Found something interesting here. We have a, two logs, limbs, both saw cut on both sides. Nothing around here. Nothing on the other side. They would have been caught. Cut off. They don't go up the trees here and prune them. So these are cut. You have a snap right there, and then it goes off. You have another branch that leans up over and then weaved in. And that one snapped on top. How did these land right in all that mess and cause a, that branch to snap? Because there's nothing around here that they would have came on. It's a little interesting thing right there. So onward we go. All right, not too far from the last thing, but. Of course anybody could have done that, but it's just sitting right on top of the log and you get closer. It's got the trail marker paint on it and just sitting there. I'm going to go up and see if there's anything else. Be careful, it's very slippery on these rocks. Around it. No, it's all by its lonesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Where did it come from? I was just going to ask you that. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. 
And why would somebody just put it right there too, you know what I mean? But you never know. Alright, a little thing so far. I didn't want you to go that way. <laughs> and the way up. Blue goes the other way. Well, blue's all the way up. No, I'm saying, saying maybe they want you to go this way. Yeah, I don't know. I'd like to find the tree it came out of, though. Yeah. Maybe we can find it. Well, he took the blue marker right out of it, so we won't, no, you won't. be able to find it. But it's definitely not from this area. Anywhere in here. There's no broken trees next to it at all. So, it's broke along the trail somewhere. And I don't think anybody would carry that. <sighs> Alright, so we're off to a good start. All well, we have to do is get them around us. Hopefully, that's Maria's job. Oh, good lord. So, we'll be back. Two mushrooms upside down on a rock. Drying, maybe. Growing there, definitely not. Placed there, definitely. By what? Unknown. Still interesting. Don't think deer are going to do that. I had to put an acorn with the mushrooms. I wanted to add to it. Yep. Yeah. We'll see if it's still on the way back. We don't come this way. Oh, not too much for that. <clears throat> well, we find a lot of things placed on the side of the trail, which is pretty cool. Still nothing to write home about around us in the woods. Birds are chirping hard here. So, we're just going to keep moving forward. Okay, picture of Brookfoot squatching with Maria. We'll be back. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, no. Just come down. I don't need you getting hurt. These are cute. Well, don't. <laughs> that thing could pull right off of that it dirt. It's sturdy. Yeah, but look what's holding it. Just the dirt on the edge of that are thing. Are you saying I'm really heavy? No, I'm saying <laughs> it, if you hang, you could snap off. That'd be cool to climb up. Yep. Believe me, we gotta keep going because you wanna be in here at dark. No, Yeah, well that's on the train. Somebody's digging. That was a big digging. Oh yeah. Must have been some good little budgies in there for croaking. 
I don't think this log just fell over is what I think. Oh, it doesn't look like somebody's like... Yeah, newly it just came up and fell. Oh. Uh, fell brand new. Because the other one's on top of it. Yeah, I don't get that part. Unless they had to come up and clear it off the trail, which is possible. Hmm? Grab it. Why? Right. Click. What is it? I don't know. It's cool. Yeah, very cool. Hmm? I don't know if there was a mess. Is that sweepy? Do we come out to the car? Oh, a little down the road from the car. Oh, 